So, um, as I promised, I was going to make a video on the mercury, uh, how to isolate it from its salt. Um, one thing I like about uh, mercury salt is the uh, the color. They have very uh, very bright color. This is mercury uh, uh, sulfide. So this is the uh, the cinnabar. This is a uh, mercury iodide, and uh, very bright, very nice color. Yeah, so mercury can be uh, separated a couple of different ways. It could be roasted with oxygen, let uh, oxygen do the, the work, and carry out the sulfur, and leave the mercury behind, like uh, Cody demonstrated in one of his video, um, I believe. If you haven't heard of uh, Cody, uh, Cody's lab, I, uh, I, I strongly recommend. It's a very good, uh, very good channels. Um, it could be uh, reduced with iron, or it could be isolated with this this common anion uh, uh, method there, uh, which uh, utilizes uh, sodium uh, sulfide, and then and then subsequently being reduced with uh, aluminum. I've heard of this uh, this procedures from another user on Science Madness. It's a very good website with a lot of home scientists sharing valuable uh, information. You should uh, definitely check it out. So I've done this the first time, I think, a few years ago. So this is mercury sulfide. It's been used for a long time, since uh, antiquity, pretty much. Yeah, one thing uh, I feel it's not, uh, it's not talked about uh, too much. You say, oh yeah, you got to wear gloves when handling toxic substances like, uh, like, like mercury salts. Um, yeah, that's fine. But then, but then, be careful where you put your hands with toxic substance on them. You kind of defeat the purpose to go for a, a smoke or a sandwich with, with the gloves on. So anyway, this is uh, cinnabar. This is finely grounded um, rock that's found in, in nature. Now, these are just the crystals, so it's, it's, it's not pure, but it's fairly pure. So I'm just going to, I'm going to wait to see how much we have here. So we have roughly 33.7 grams. I'm gonna make a, a solution of uh, sodium hydroxide. Just stir bar. Add a bit of water. When it's fully dissolved and, and kind of warm, we'll, add, we'll directly add sulfur to this, uh, this solution. Same thing, and we can, uh, we can just eyeball it. Doesn't need a whole lot. It's just the the goal is to we make it nice and cozy for the uh, mercury to be comfortable in this little sulfuric bath and drop off of uh, its compound, so we can see. And uh, I promise I would do this reaction uh, in the previous video, but then uh, my gamma spectroscopy detection, uh, one of the detector broke, and I was trying to fix it. <coughs> I had to redo the uh, the electronics on the on the base. Well, I was feeling kind of down about that, and uh, it's a it's a damn tragedy here. I, uh, I'm, I'm gonna have to figure out something. Okay, so it's been uh, reacting for for a while. The reaction has uh, changed its uh, its color. We're gonna try to keep it warm and agitated, and we're ready to add the uh, the cinnabar. So we could have done that before. This is uh, this. this doesn't really matter. I'm trying to add all of it. Oh crap, there's still some in there. Yeah, so we so we can see a, a precipitate immediately here at the uh, at the bottom. And uh, by the time it's done reacting, this uh, precipitate should be gone. So this uh, we're going to keep the uh, the stirring and the and the, and the heat on, and uh, and we'll come back in a while to see how it, uh, how it does. So this is a few minutes later and. The precipitate is gone. It's kind of hot. Yes. Yeah, oh shit! It's hot. Okay, so it's been about uh, 30 minutes or so. I don't see much of a precipitate anymore. So I'm gonna turn off the the heat. Continue stirring on the on the stirrer here. I'm gonna add a, a little bit of water to give it more more volume to dissolve into. So it'll be a uh, it'll be easier. Yeah. So now that it's uh it's cool enough. I'm uh. Now that uh, now that it's cool enough, I'm just gonna filter this this whole thing. Uh, here we go. Filter it and filter. Yeah. Let's see what uh, whatever did not filter is gonna be also kept for later. Okay, so it looks like we're done filtering here. The filter. Get it out of here. Yep. And there. All right, 
do with this. So, okay, uh, <clears throat> here's the solution. It should have uh, most of the mercury in solution. We're gonna reduce it with the uh, aluminum powder, but very slowly. All right, so just so there's no problem, <clears throat> I'm gonna put in a, a lot bigger uh, beaker. So here we go, out of it. And now it's time to add the uh, reducing agent, in this case, uh, aluminum powder. Uh, I thought it was gonna foam up a lot. Uh, let's just, let's just be slow about it, you know? Yeah, <clears throat> it, it's uh, there's a kind of a delay reaction. So it just foam up later. Yeah, so take it slow. And that's why I uh, I use a big beaker because if you add too much, it will uh, will foam it foam up uh, a lot. So after a while, this um, the mercury is starting to precipitate and uh, immediately bound bond with the uh, aluminum to form this alloy. It, sh it should uh, it shouldn't take too long now. We should start to see some mercury. Probably best to do this outside, or under a fume hood, like uh, like me here. Once I had the saddle for for a little bit, all that's left to do is just to filter this uh, uh, this this uh, this alloy here. So there's nothing to it, and just a quick little filtration. And, uh, there, there it is, right here. The uh, mercury, the tiny little bit of mercury I've got right there. So yeah, so after multiple rinses, uh, we left with uh, with this. So there's a tiny, tiny amount of uh, mercury in there. It's just uh, in there to, to clean with uh, hydrochloric acid a little bit, just to clean it a little bit. <coughs> We're gonna let it sit there. Oh, by the way, all the rinses I uh, I kept. Uh, you don't you don't really want to throw that down the drain. So this is a this is a messy process. I use way too much uh, aluminum, by the way. This is too much. For this tiny amount of mercury, it's not really uh, necessary or even worth it. So um, here we are. That's the, the last drop. I didn't. Uh, I didn't really recover much of it, uh, but a lot of it is still not reacted here, and uh, and didn't dissolve too much. So maybe that's for a different batch. I'll try to put them all together. So here, I put a bit of cotton balls in here in this syringe. And then uh, the tiny, man, this is pathetic, you know. It's really a uh, really small amount of mercury here. And um, filter this. It's really not a lot at all. After all these efforts and uh, all these ways to have to find a way to to uh, to dispose of safely, I only got about this much this is a multiple filtration and multiple filtration it doesn't look like much <laughs> let's see how much uh, how much this is uh, what do you got oh boy the whole 17.2 grams man yeah, it's pathetic now of course I'm not gonna dispose of these uh, uh, mercury contaminated uh, waste uh, just anywhere. I'm gonna take it to to the lab, and it'll be disposed of by your uh, professionals. You gotta respect uh, Mother Nature, you know. So we started with uh, roughly 33.7 grams of uh, cinnabar. We should have expected uh, about 28 grams of uh, of mercury with 100% recovery. We got here about 17 grams, which is about 60%. I'm uh, pleasantly surprised, actually. So that's not uh, that's not bad, um, um, especially for a lousy chemist like me. Uh, but this is a tedious and long and messy process. I, uh, uh, it's, it's not really worth it. Anyway, um, I hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, don't forget to uh, comment if you have any questions and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one.